Hi everyone, uh, Miss Megan here, and I am doing our STEM challenge video about the penguins that are trapped in ice. So, this one is one. Uh, we do have a limited number of little toy penguins, um, so there is a sign up on that. If it was all full, um, you're more than welcome to use a little toy penguin that you have at home or even another type of animal. Um, if you were not able to get one that we provided, this is definitely something that you can do um, even without that one material that we provided. Um, other things that you will need for this activity, um, some kind of ooh, some kind of baking tray so you don't make a mess. Um, this is hot water, hot warm water uh, with food coloring in it and salt. Um, I have spoons today. If you have little eyedroppers, um, that will be even better and it will help your kids with their fine motor skills too. But if you just have spoons, that's totally fine. That's what I will be using. Um, and then obviously we have our little penguin trapped in ice here. So we are going to work on getting them out. So what do you think would be a good first step if something is cold what can you do to make it melt when does ice melt when it gets hot right when it gets hot outside all the ice in your drink melts when it starts to get warm all the snow melts so the first thing we're going to try to do is we are going to try to just put some hot water on our um, on our ice and see what happens to our penguin. You can dump it on there. Let's take some from here. And dump it on. This is why you need a baking tray because as the water is getting dumped and as the ice is melting, you will make quite a mess. So make sure <laughs> that you've got something underneath your little penguin so that way you don't make your table all messy. We can put some more water on there. So we can see, I know it's easier for me to see because I'm right here, but my little penguin is kind of starting to show. Like you can see him right there. He's kind of starting to show. So what do you think would make this go even faster? Do you know what they put on sidewalks? Do you know what they put on sidewalks to make the ice melt faster in the winter time? It's salt, right? Did you know that salt helps melt ice faster? It's kind of funny, isn't it? So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take some salt, a spoonful, and just sprinkle it on top of my ice and just see what happens. So it looks like it's all melting in there. I can see my penguin a little bit better. You see how you can kind of see him poking up there at the top? So let's add some more hot water and see if that helps us even more. That is so pretty. Can you see how pretty the salt and the ice, the blue is making the ice? I love that. All right, we're getting there. We can see more of him than before. Let's try to add some more salt. Make sure you add it all over so that way our whole iceberg is melting too and not just right on top of our penguin. We gotta be able to get him out, right? Okay, we'll let the ice and the salt react. We'll add some more water. All right. goes we can see him a little bit more you see his whole back sticking up right there he's sticking up out of the ice <laughs> okay 
So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep layering. We're gonna keep putting some salt and then some water and then some salt and then some water. So just keep going. You need more salt or more water, you can always pause the video and get up and get some more of what you need. Or if your water gets a little colder, maybe you won't, maybe it's not hot enough anymore, you can always pause the video and go and get some more stuff. You can kind of like scrape it off. <laughs> All right, so keep adding salt and scraping. All right, we're getting them out even more. You see them sticking up right there? I'm gonna put some salt on the edges too, so that way it's not only melting right around my penguin. We wanna melt most of our iceberg, so that way we can get them out. Okay, there's some more salt. Okay. All right, I'm starting to see his head. We're getting him out. Okay. Do you guys know why salt helps melt ice faster? Is that something that maybe you've learned in school? Or maybe you just know because we use it on sidewalks in the winter time? Salt actually lowers the freezing point of water. So it helps the ice melt, but then it also makes it harder for it to refreeze. That is called freezing point depression. So I know that's a big kind of fancy science term, but that is what it's called, this type of science that we are doing right now. We are changing the freezing point depression of the iceberg by adding our salt. And then when we add the warm water, it just helps it melt even faster so that way we can save our little penguin friend. So go ahead and keep adding salt and water. I might have to get some more salt in a minute. If you need to get more stuff, feel free. That is so pretty. See how much smaller our iceberg is now? You can see. We're starting to see most of our penguin, but if we keep scraping and we do it a couple more times, I bet we will have him rescued. Alright. Add some more salt all over. Okay. Yeah, you see how this is kind of like salty and kind of sludgy? Have you noticed on the roads in the winter time that it kind of looks like that too? That's because of the salt reacting with the ice. Right. You're definitely going to need a baking tray underneath your penguin. This one is a very messy experiment. And since we colored our water blue, it's a very messy experiment too because it will stain. It will stain your table, it will stain your clothes, so you got to be careful with the food coloring water too, okay guys? Make sure you're not getting it all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna do this just a couple more times and then I think I'm gonna try to get him out. So once you can see most of your penguin, you can try to get him out of the ice. Be careful though, because like I said, the food coloring will stain. So make sure, you probably should have a napkin to dry your hands off on, too. Okay, let's do just a couple more with the water. Let that sit for just a minute, so that way the reaction can keep happening. Put some more hot water over here so you guys can see my penguin better. 
I can see him really well from over here. Okay, we can see most of our iceberg is starting to melt. Let's see. Ooh, not quite. He needs a little bit more time, I think. Oh, wait. Maybe I just need to scrape more. All right. Let's see, I can see his whole face now on this side. Let's see if he will come out of the iceberg. Oh, his little feet are still stuck. So let's put some ice down there by his feet, or some salt, sorry, some salt down there by his feet. We will get some water on there too. We'll get his little feet unstuck. And then the rest of him will come out as well. Ooh, maybe. Oh, he's really stuck on that side still. Okay, go ahead and keep putting on salt and your hot water until your penguin is all the way free. However long that takes you is totally fine. Some people it will take us longer if our ice was thicker. Or maybe our water wasn't as hot. If you have coarse, like, rock salt, that will help it melt even faster. So, like, I just have, like, ionized salt, um, which definitely works, as you can see. I've got my, I've got my um, iceberg melting. But if you have um, coarser, thicker salt, that will help even more. Working on our penguin rescue. I think we've almost got it. Hopefully you guys at home have almost got your penguins out too. His one little foot. You see, he can almost come out. His one little foot just is really stuck in there. <laughs> so hopefully, see, you can see it at the bottom. It's still stuck down there. Maybe we should try to put some salt on the bottom of our iceberg and see what happens then. We can stick it down here in our water. We can put some more on top too. If you want, you can scoop up some of the water from down here too. It might not be as hot anymore, but we're definitely making quite a mess. We're digging them out. Oh, and there you go. And here is our penguin. He is all free. So he is now standing on top of his iceberg instead of being stuck inside it. And we learned about freezing point depression today. We learned that salt helps melt ice. Um, so in the winter time, you can think about that when you see salt on the roads. Um, that's why we do that because it helps melt the ice and it helps make it harder for the ice to refreeze. So that's what we've done here um, with our iceberg and our little penguin. So hopefully you got your penguin free as well. Um, and like I said at the beginning, if you were not able to get a penguin from us, um, any little toy like this would work. You just freeze it. I used a bowl like this, uh, depending on how thick you want your iceberg to be. You can use any type of bowl. You could put multiple penguins in there. Anything you want to do um, would be totally fine and you'd still be doing the same result. So. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, thank you for saving your penguins. And I will see you guys next time we have an activity. Thanks. Bye.